The Order of Gentlemen would like to remind you that Gentleman Jack gets its exceptional smoothness from a mellowing process it undergoes not once, but twice. Because if once is good, twice is better. The Chicago business scene is as diverse as the city itself. But we don't always hear from the entrepreneurs who keep the Chicago economy colorful. That's where I come in. I'm Mikai Brown, and this is the Mikai Brown Report. Damone Williams is a Chicago native turned international basketball star who led his team through a perfect season in the Syrian Premier League in 2009. Growing up in a single-parent household, Williams' childhood was far from easy, but through courage and determination, he took his less-than-cookie-cutter upbringing and created the Chicago Basketball Academy. The Chicago-based academy teaches high school students the importance of academic and athletic excellence in the field of basketball. Damone joins me in River North to discuss his journey through the league and the importance of hands-on education for our youth today. This idea of CBA came about in 2011, right? Yeah, late 2011. Late 2011. And um, tell me a little bit about your journey. What made you want to create a private academy and educate youth through basketball? Well, essentially, you know, being that kid, you know, in the south side of Chicago growing up and realizing that resources were, were very limited to certain demographics when it comes to, you know, uh, higher education and, you know, opportunities um, beyond um, schooling. Tell me a little bit more about your background and what makes you qualify to open up an entire school on yeah. your own. Well, not necessarily on your own, but mm -hmm. what makes you qualify to open up a school? Well, again, having you know two degrees, you know, obviously, and uh, my my main my actually my major was psychology for the first three years, and then realizing that I can integrate that with so many other uh, areas of focus in education, I decided to you know pursue the social science degree, which. Uh, once I obtained that, I realized that, that that encompasses education, psychology, economics, all the things that I love in, in, in school and all the things that I wanted to apply in CBA. Uh, being an 11-year professional in the basketball economy, you know, playing in Asia, North America, South America. Uh, I was a Harlem Globetrotter for two years. I worked out with the Bulls and, and the Lakers and, you know, really experiencing, you know, the basketball economy from an athletic standpoint. Uh, you know, I've set a few milestones for myself professionally. You know, I wanted to play a whole year and be an MVP, and I, and I, and I had a chance to do that in Asia. I wanted to play a whole year and, 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 and uh, win a championship. I had, a, I had a chance to do that in Asia. And so I, I did all of these things before the age of 30, and um, I realized, like, hey, I can c continue to do this and have 20, you know, MVP awards or, you know, all of these, you know, accolades, or I can really deliver, you know, everything together you know, for something that's new and innovative and uh, change lives. Tell me a little bit about your business model mm -hmm. and how are you going to keep your doors open so that this isn't another school that just shuts down in the city? Right. So again, it comes back to the L3C model, having that 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 dual arm of having you know to attract you know the nonprofit side and then the for-profit side through the revenue streams, obviously tuition, uh, merchandising, licensing our curriculum, things like that. However, from a nonprofit side, again, we're doing social initiatives, getting you know groups like UNICEF on board, and you know, being able to deliver scholarships to kids around the world. It's a, it's a, CBA is a boarding and day school, so kids can come. You know, we've already had kids from you know all over the world reaching out, uh, inquiring about you know how to attend CBA, what it's like. So through our information packets, we're able to really show them. Uh, you know, this is the boarding model, this is the day model, whatever fits in, you know, parents' finances, it, you know, we're able to work with that. And, um, you know, engage in, this, in, engage in the city here, you know, engage in the community and, you know, through a lot of social investments, we're able to really uh, deliver our model uh, in the best way and we've already done that with so many academic partners and, and, and athletic partners as well. And, uh, 
we've, we've, we've already been recognized as a non-public uh, high school by the uh, Illinois State Board of Education. That's awesome. Within two years, we've already been recognized uh, as a non-public school by the P20 Council, uh, and, and, and that is essentially a combination of uh, Illinois Student Assistant Commission, uh, Illinois Community College Board, uh, obviously, you know, IISB, Illinois State Board of Education. So, uh, to have those type of councils and, and departments from an educational standpoint here in the state really, you know, uh, get their hands around CBA and take a better dive and have me come speak at some of the meetings, that's given us a lot of credibility and, uh, and, and, and you know, and positioning our stance in education. Mm -hmm. What is the Chicago Basketball Academy going to do to uplift and empower young women to pursue careers in basketball, since we are yeah. so oppressed? Well, I mean, obviously educating, education is key. And, you know, the more that women are educated about their opportunities, you know, the better they are at making, you know, better decisions. I mean, mm -hmm. I know a lot of women are pregnant early at an early age and that... Y'all you know, offer free birth control? Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> you well, should. <laughs> well, you know, talk to the school nurse. You know. <laughs> but, I, but, but I think, you know, educating them on, you know, how important they are, the, the role that they play in society and the power that they have in society as well where they're able to make the decision where again I'm not I don't want to be pregnant in high school I don't want to be pregnant in college let me you know get my career under my belt and then go out and then start a family that's where I look at CBA again yeah you can come what's your ratio girls to boys well we're still like enrolling right now and okay. uh, it's about 70 30 okay however you look at them you know basketball from you know a professional standpoint athletic standpoint you know there's a great mix right if you can sum up mm -hmm. Chicago Basketball Academy in a hashtag, mm -hmm. what would it be? Go CBA. Okay, that's <laughs> whack. <laughs> well, well, you know what? That's been our hashtag. So it has been. Okay, that. so that's the first one. Go I'm, CBA. Okay, that's right, the standard. Right. But let's like, if you can form up, if you can formulate a hashtag based right. on your experiences, hmm. this interview, and the mission of CBA, right. what would it be? Hmm. I would put a, let's see, hashtag. Boop, just joking. I know, I'm out of time. <laughs> hashtag, you know, CBA, you know. Hashtag CBA. I, hashtag CBA, or go CBA, uh, CBA, go CBA global, um, go CBA shy, you know, it's, I just think like, you know, our, the hashtags that we have is like really cool and it's been getting a lot of attention. So, choose CBA is one too. Okay. Choose CBA is a good one we use. When you think of CBA, like that's like a, a common hashtag. So, go CBA, CBA. That's fine, but I'm talking about like an emotional hashtag. So, if you can describe in a feeling mm -hmm. what this opportunity is, how this opportunity through education is going to change the lives of underserved youth and youth globally, mm -hmm. how does that make you feel? It feels great. You just said the hashtag I was going to say. What? Well, you said changing lives. Hashtag changing lives. There it is. Hashtag changing lives. That's the hashtag. That's hashtag. Changing lives. Yeah. And then hashtag CB after that. All right, right. All right, cool. That's it. That was good. That's good. Yeah, right? Hashtag changing lives. That's changing what the hell you're doing. That's what we're doing.